turn one and proceed with command or void stalker from there. So yeah, eh, I'm gonna crack it right away because I don't I don't like forgetting to do stuff on end step. <laughs> Okay, uh, sure, we'll do Void Stalker. Make him think we're blue for a little while longer. Alright, our opponent is black green by the looks of it. The rats! Rats. Uh, I think we're just gonna go with the mountain here. Everything else is pretty decent, and we got enough lands to play all the cards in our hand, so. Uh, probably want a rummaging goblin here. This card is so good. Obviously, it's just like way worse than Murfolk Looter, but that's still really, really good. Like, Murfolk Looter was insane, so this guy's just moderately insane. So, I guess that's correct. There are a lot of X1s at 2. So yeah, I think it's correct to go Cranko's Command over Void Stalker in the future. Ooh, the Force Mage. Okay. His rats are going to get in for three here. Huh. Um, we probably want to loot away one of these four drops. Try and just find our fourth land. There we go. And we're actually just going to do this and this and this as opposed to playing Canyon Minotaur now. <laughs> we, lo we lose a uh, power and toughness on the board, but, uh, ooh, green ring. But, we make up for it by killing his guy. Alright, let's just do this, because that makes his tormented souling pretty awkward. And, we actually want him to attack, so we're just going to attack with our goblins here. Alright, and he has no green creatures at the moment, which is really nice. I really like how this guy keeps growing, like, once he once he can attack and block when they... Alright, tick up. Get up, tick up. Tick up for your rights. So, I'm sure you guys have heard of the, uh... new incarnation of Bob Marley, apparently, in... Snoop Lion, and I, uh, I think everyone has their own opinions on that. <laughs> Say that. All right. In case you're wondering why I avoid, like, Void Sucker is not immediately what comes to mind with a splash, but like, he gets rid of anything, any creature, which is something our deck is actually lacking. We we have a lot of good removal spells, but uh, it's all burn based. All right, I'm just gonna get get us there. Okay, but he is tapped out, so we get to hit his face next turn. Sweet. Nighthawk. Okay, we're looking pretty good here. He can't even really race us effectively. Because he's getting pretty close to turning this guy on. I mean, I'm sure he'll bring us right to the cusp of activation. Uh, there's a very good chance he could have like a murder or something. He's just sandbagging, but so what's he got? S our our old friend, the staff of Nin. When the staff mirror match here, it appears. It'd be really classy if we just draw our staff of Nin this turn. Uh, I actually want to play this in case we draw our staff of Nin. I think. Let's just do that. And he can face the beats as I beat the face. 
I mean, it's worth considering our rummaging goblet's probably going to die at the end of this turn, but... Alright, nope, he's just going to kill a token. Interesting. I mean, like, he, he can just kill the rummaging goblin on his turn, so... Nope. Guess he's concerned about the damage we're putting out here. He gets to draw a card. Two cards, because Staff of Nin is the bomb diggity. Oh, man. Like, I th I'm pretty sure, I can't say for sure, because this was well back, but the one scepter that, like, cost man at a ping, I'm pretty sure that would have also been, pr like, decent and limited, and... Ooh. Frickin' deadly recluse. Well. I probably keep attacking, just so I can attack with slumbering dragon if I want to. Is he gonna swing here, or is he gonna leave me two away? It's a shame we don't have the red ring. The red ring's really good with this guy. Um, but like the black ring's just better overall, and the black ring's actually pretty good with that guy as well because it keeps the regeneration shield. And the black ring's actually not fantastic in our deck. Our deck is very heavy red, not a ton of black, but still. Obviously, he really good on something like the vampire nighthawk. Dark favor. We're going deep here tonight, folks. Going to <laughs> pretty low life. No attacks. All right. Uh, well, he left. He let us leave this guy alive, so we can loot. Probably wait to play duty. Yeah, because I'm gonna be attacking with both these guys. Yeah. Make him. He's got to make at least one block. Probably just gonna double trade here, but. Okay. Well, he is, given the time, he will outvalue us with Staff of Nin, so felt like it was good to uh, to try and put the pressure on him there. Double Evolving Wilds, I think? No? Oh, okay, just one. Double Evolving Wilds is really sweet. That That's how I pulled off the uh, aforementioned... Uh, um, he really should have killed my looter on his turn, so I couldn't have looted there, but whatever. He has his upper hand at current. Ooh, Centaur Courser. And it is now a Trampler, but we're at a really cushy... Le I we are at a really cushy life total, thanks to, uh, uh, yeah, let's just do that. And... We actually, although Duty Bound Dead is a better blocker, we actually want to go with him over the Goblin here, despite the fact the Goblin would have two power, because our opponent would just respond by pinging the Goblin to the Exalted Trigger, so... Get in there. Yep. Duty Bound Dead versus Tormented Soul. Who will win? Most situations, the guy with Staff of Nin, but... <laughs> um, we got him at a low life. Like, I'm assuming he's just got a murder somewhere in there. He's just waiting for it, but... Luckily, even if he has a murder, we're still alright at the moment. Uh, we have... Flames and Essence Drain left in our deck that will just get him for lethal next turn. So, that's a Blood Hunter Bat. That's pretty good as well. Okay, he goes to three. We're not quite there, but he's in a tough spot next turn. You lose two life. All right. Our opponent's at one life. He does not have any blockers. We are at 19 life with a slumbering dragon. <laughs> I think we have this one. I mean, like, mu mutilate? No, mutilate doesn't get rid of our dragon, though. Like, yeah. We, we beat the Staff of Nin. The Staff of Nin didn't get a lot of help, though, to be fair to it. Alright. Alright, we killed what help it got. Here... I think... Mm. What X ones could I potentially cut? 
Void Stalker, I guess, for like what, like a splash, like a scroll thief. Splashing scroll thief doesn't actually seem awful against him, but I think I just want to leave Void Stalker. I think I like Krenko's command a bit better than Tormented Soul in this matchup. He's not doing a lot of blocking anyways, and so it's a bit stronger. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to go with. See you guys next round. See what our opponent decides to do. I'm a paragon of going first. I 